All right, guys, well, here I am, and I'm gonna try to make this a non-negative pose because I know that that's what you've been seeing from me lately, and I apologize for that. I just had to get all that out of the way. I mean, the Reddit thing was like really affecting my relationship, you know, getting it in Karina's head that I was cheating on her. Um, just crazy shit. People thinking, making people think I was racist, things that just weren't true. Um, and I don't know, we've talked enough about the Reddit thing, but, um, you know, the relapse, a four month thing, um, I was in and out of treatment, in and out of treatment. Um, I got in two fist fights, um, and I got, I just got a bunch of crazy footage, right? So this is a monologue. I'm going to try to start doing two monologues a day. There'll be one in the morning with the news, and I'm also gonna start testing pills with fentanyl uh, test kits. Um, I'm getting a grant to do that for the Paw Project. That's how part of the way that I'm getting it funded. We still need the 875 um, to give to LegalZoom just to finalize it so that we're like authorized to distribute the Narcan nationally. But one thing that we will be able to start doing immediately is testing things. There's a lot of these like synthetic drugs going around. People are like boofing like Xanax that I guess is pressed and has fentanyl and people are dying that way. So one of the things that the Paul Project's gonna do besides hand out Narcan is test pills. Everything from ecstasy to benzos to, um, to painkillers. And I'm going to establish a database, kind of like dancesave.org used to be. And that's going to be in the news segment every morning. So, like, it would be me. I got a new iMac for Christmas. And so I have, like, more technological capabilities now. Like, I can do stuff like that easier. I've been working off a phone for a long time. Um, you know, now I have my own house. I have my own office. I just set that up last night. Um, so I'm just trying to get back on track, you know, and like freshly sober, um, you know, it's like for my personality to, to come back where I like have the nervous tics where I just do like, eh, blood plug. it's going to take a while to get back to that version of me. But I, I wanted to explain what Patreon and what YouTube's going to look like moving forward. So... Like I said, I want to do two monologues a day, okay? The first one would be the news in the morning. It would always end with me testing a pill. That's part of what the Paul Project would be about, and that's part of how we get funding to do the rest of what I want to do, which is distribute Narcan nationally for free, get it in public places. Um, second monologue at the end of the day would just be my closing thoughts, right? So the news would be on, on YouTube, the closing monologue would be on Patreon for all tiers. For the $3 tier, um, the storyline I'm going to do is Fear and Loathing in the Midwest. For the $10 tier, the storyline I'm going to be doing is the Relapse series, which is explicitly what happened. I lost a tooth, two fist fights, um, uh, in and out of treatment, overdosed multiple times, abscesses, and I got a lot of crazy footage of that. Um, but it's a wild story. Like I said, like my close friends who I tell stories to, cause like a lot of my friends that I hang out with are like, tell me a story. And I'll be like, Oh, I'll be all like fucked up on something. And I'll tell them a story. Everybody has told me that the Midwest and the relapse were like two of the best storylines that I, that I, out of everything I've ever done, it's like they're, it's, it's like right there at the top. So, um, I'm looking fo I'm looking, I'm looking forward to doing that. And on the $20 tier, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start putting up a lot more footage. Like I got a bunch of crazy footage from the last four months. In, in fact, I sent it to Lucas and Lucas said that it was the crate out of all the footage that I have five fucking terabytes of footage. He said that the last, the most recent footage I have, Avery said this too, is the craziest shit that I, I have gotten on camera. Um, that's going to go in the $20 tier. And there's even crazier footage still going the $100 tier. Um, so 
I'm also, as far as storylines, I'm gonna finish all the old storylines that I never finished on the lower tiers, on the $20 tier, on the $100 tier, and then we're gonna have a step-down system. Like I explained before, now I have an investor that's backing it up, so we're trying to figure out the gifts. Um, there's gonna be marketing. The news is gonna be like real deal shit with like, you know, like the fentanyl um, testing strips provided. I'm gonna teach people how to do Narcan. There's gonna be, we're gonna start doing Frank Fridays again. Um, that's gonna be on the $20 tier, but it'll drop down to the $10 tier. Um, and I'm gonna start having a lot more guests on. Um, not just famous people, friends. Um, I'm gonna start having regulars on. I know Sinister wants to start doing a lot more stuff. Um, I wanna fix any mistakes that I've made with people in the past. Um, you know, including like people that continue to support me via Patreon for the last few months since I've disappeared. Um, what I'm planning on doing to make it up for you guys, cause we have everything, it, Patreon saves everything. So like, I know when people join, when they cancel, what I'm planning on doing is when the doc comes out, I think we're going to have limited theatrical screenings and you guys would get admitted to those. Like this wouldn't be the premiere. This would just be like at your, whatever movie theater it's playing at. Um, you know, and I'll get you guys into that for free. I would be there. So you'd get to meet me and do a Q and a afterwards. Um, and I think I'm going to do that and then figure out the, the gifts. Somebody had asked on Instagram, they said, what the, they, like, they're like, you need to prove, um, everything that I'm talking about. I don't really know what the person meant. Um, as far as the relapse, I'm definitely going to be putting that footage on the $20 tier, the intellectual property theft. That is a litigation thing, but I want to document it as it goes on. That'll be on the $20 tier. I don't know when I'm going to start doing that, but I'm not going to start doing anything to jeopardize that case. The video I posted on Instagram sent to my attorney. Attorney okayed it. Um, you know, uh, I talked to the Homeland Security people today. And there were certain people that were commenting on Instagram, like, kind of like, well, you're a rat. And it's like, come on, man. You know, it's like, my family had been threatened, harassed. My mom was dying. It's like, protected my mom. You know, I've done three prison terms. You can't call me a rat. I've, I've never put, nobody's ever gone to jail because of me. Um, I have a family to protect, you know, and, um, I, I'm not, I just want to be a good dad, you know, obviously part of that is me being a hundred percent sober, getting the, uh, the therapeutic needs addressed, you know, I'm still just been in a funk, you know, like the last year's just been really, really tough and, you know, get, getting off the heroin was like nearly impossible for me. But, um, but I, I finally was able to do it. So moving forward, that's what it's going to look like on Patreon. As far as YouTube, it'll be like how it used to be. The fear and loathing in, in the Midwest will trickle down to YouTube a week later. So there'll be like, you know, a week, um, delay. I'll post it on, on um, Patreon and then a week later, I'll release it onto YouTube the way that I used to do it. Plus um, the old storylines, like all the old storylines that I was like in the middle of, all that stuff's gonna get finished on the $20 tier and then it'll get dropped down. Um, the investor that's helping me get my Patreon back on track is getting a virtual assistant that's gonna be doing that stuff for me because I suck at it. I mean, maybe now that I have a computer like an actual good computer, um, I can do that stuff myself. But um, these storylines, these new ones, the Fear and Loathing in the Midwest and the, the Relapse, honestly, they're, they're really good storylines, um, which is good because I was like running out of material. I was like, fuck, what am I gonna do? So I guess I had to go just like destroy my life and almost ruin my relationship to do so. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I got a puppy for... Um, Karina and the kids for Christmas. Where's Cubby? <gasps> so this is Cubby. Hey, Nico. Where is he? <gasps> Can you guys see him? Little German Shepherd puppy. Say hi, Nikos. Hi. Hi. That's puppy. Puppy. Yeah, that's Cubby. Good job. So, see, Nico's learned how to talk. 
I uh, put him in a really nice private preschool and it's been helping a lot, you know, him being socialized. I think that fucked up a lot of stuff. Him just not getting normal socialization because of COVID. Um, and what else? That's pretty much it. That's the plan moving forward. Um, this, this would be like what a typical monologue would be like on um, Patreon, except be more humorous because I wouldn't be in like post acute withdrawal. Like I'm still like fucking, I'm sober, but I'm like not back to being myself. Like my personality is just emerging. Like it's hard for me to even talk about butt fucking in a condition like this. Um, I got in a car accident knocked my fucking license plate off the other day that was cool i was like yeah of course that would happen um and some some other bad stuff happened but anyway um youtube people um patreon has all these old storylines catalog that you guys have never seen so if you miss my content i highly recommend getting on patreon Just three dollars ten dollars twenty dollars or a hundred dollars um it explains what each tier does but there's storylines that you've never seen there's good storylines on there um eventually they'll go to youtube i don't know when um i don't even i think we were doing the shaky jake series before um and i'm going to keep going with that on the twenty dollar tier that's just going to be a mix of random storylines whatever i feel like doing that day um but i'll also put up all this crazy ass footage like the times that I overdosed, um, when they're like literally like doing surgery on me because like my leg was like essentially getting amputated from abscesses. Um, it wasn't that bad, but you know, they were treating the I had these crazy abscesses. Um, those are some pretty crazy videos. I have a video after um, I injected 60 hits of acid by accident. And I'm still not really right from that. Like that's part of the relapse series. <laughs> that part, and I and I saw Chenny, my old Selly, like in the middle. And I saw Dirty, the guy that was in the riots with the Sentinella. Saw both of those guys right after I'd shot 60 hits of acid, and I was like on this crazy ass trip. Um, but that's part of that Dad, series. Sign my Fifi, bro? No, 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 no. Dude, sign my Fifi hey, from fan. prison. From there's prison. Like, Come on, a, let me sign. There's like a crazy fan. Sign my Fifi, bro. It's I just want to fuck it again one time. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, I, don't know. Yeah. I run into fans everywhere. Should I drop names? I'm always getting. Cr you drop too many names. Of course I do. I spent like fucking a decade in cell. You know, you start hanging out with people that were your heroes growing up. You'd be proud of it too, or you should be. You know. There's a difference between being arrogant and being proud, and I'm proud of certain things that I've accomplished, and I'm ashamed of a lot of stuff, including the size of my dick. My dick is so fucking small. Trina and I were, we were even fighting the other day, and she just said that. And I was like, what? You're not even mad at me. Why would you say that? She was like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying how it is. I'm trying to come back to being normal, but it's tough. It's tough just like, you know how it is. I was on heroin for four months, like just not, you're like in a dream and then you lose the sex drive Karina started accusing me of being gay she's like you're gay with a small dick I was like it's not well I can be a power bottom then she's like I don't even think that gay dude would like that really <laughs> some ladies just lying by like, what the fuck um anyway I love you guys. I appreciate you. If you if you haven't um, checked out Patreon, I think about you every time I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to make a full. Um, I'm trying to make a, a full rebound right now. I'm trying to make like a full comeback. I got a new book uh, coming out. I did do that while I was strung out for some reason. I don't know how. And I don't want to like perpetuate the idea that heroin makes you more creative, but it made me more creative. So uh, don't don't do heroin to be creative but for some reason i was able to finish anti-heroes my plan was always to collaborate with tony o'neill then i was going to do it with nick oh here i go dropping fucking names um but um it just didn't work out with those guys so i just decided to finish it myself um it's going to be a six-part series the first one's called the ballad of mikey may it's already finished and 
I um, am gonna be doing a tour. I'm going to do 30 states in the US. You know, most major cities, definitely gonna be in New York. I know I'm gonna be in Portland. I know I'm gonna be in Colorado. So if you, you know, if, if you're in various places, there's gonna be a tour schedule. We're just working it out. I think I'm gonna start in February. I'm not positive, but um, I know that I'm gonna be doing 30 states whenever it comes out. I think touring is important. And then I'm going to France for two weeks with Lucas of all of all people. Um, we're, we're, I think we're going with my buddy who's a journalist for Vanity Fair and uh, Rolling Stone, just to like mediate it and make sure that I don't go crazy and start like shooting crystal meth and hacking into my fiance's phone again because you know it <laughs> kind of fucked my life up a bit um i did this mono already and then i didn't like how it was so i'm redoing it so excuse me if i'm repeating the same information but um it's snot coming down my nose it's i have not been snorting drugs i did snort a wellbutrin the other day but uh that was just kind of like performance art um uh i'm going to france for two weeks with lucas now, somebody had mentioned that they thought that like, they, they didn't know what was going on with the doc. I, this is the part I don't know if I mentioned, right? Documentary, uh, Seth Ferrante took over as director back in May. Uh, we got a new producer on it. And, you know, I've been working on the movie for four years, you know, and I keep going, okay, it's going to be done by this date. It's going to be done by this date. It's going to be done by this date. Um, Seth took on the project. He did White Boy. It's on Netflix. And one thing with Seth is different than any other people that I've worked with is that he um, he wouldn't let me be part of the process. I mean, he did 21 years in prison. I don't know if he would stab me. I don't know if he would butt fuck me or make me suck his dick. But like, come on, dude, please. I'll do anything if you let me see it. I mean, he just would not let me watch this shit. He wanted me out of the way because I guess I'm... I guess I'm a tough person to collaborate with. I'm like a weirdo, you know, and want things a specific way. But um, he had told me originally he wanted to have it done by Christmas. It's being done in three sections, three 30-minute sections. It's going to be an hour and a half long. I wasn't able to see. He, like, would not let me watch any of it until he was done with the first act, which is the first 30 minutes. I saw it the other day and it is by far the best version I've seen. It looks totally different than anything else that anyone else has tried. It looks commercial. If you saw White Boy on Netflix, it looks a lot like that. Um, I'm really proud of it. Like Seth is a fucking beast. I don't know when it's gonna be done exactly. Um, see, I'm like forgetting if I had already talked about this or not. But it looks really good. It's really happening. You can ask Seth. He did 21 years in prison, so. Butt fuck warning. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you can get butt fucked in DMs, but if you can, uh, I'm not saying he would do it, but he's scared. He yells at me all the time. When I was using, he was fucking tripping out on me. He's Nico's godfather. So, you know. How you doing, man? Just trying to get butt fucked, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, more guests. Doc is coming out. Um, that's what we're talking about. Hoping for it to come out at cons, which is in May. But um, there's going to be a premiere party for it before the sponsors are all coming to it. Um, except for a couple people that got in arguments with. Um, and then we're definitely gonna be renting out some theaters. Even if we don't get theatrical distribution for it, it's definitely gonna be playing at some theaters. And like I said, that's to make up for the months that I disappeared for Patreon. If you've still subscribed during that month, I'll get you admitted for free um, to that. And I and now that I have an investor, I'm gonna have an assistant, be more organized, try to get as much shit done as I can. I don't like like saying what I'm gonna do because I like suck at following through with stuff and I'm disorganized. My word's poo poo, pretty much is what I'm saying. Is, is your word poo poo? Yeah, so is yours? No. But I'm just saying that this is what I'm planning on doing. You know, 
everyone knows if you've been addicted to any sort of opiate, you know that post acute withdrawal, you have like no personality and you come in three seconds. I come in three seconds. It sucks. Jesus Christ. I'm fucking arrested. Anyway. Um, I come in three seconds and I have no personality. But, um, if you, if you've never been on Patreon and you miss my content, there's a lot of shit. There's a lot of stories on there. You've never seen. Check it out. Um, my son's private preschool is 300 a week, which is pretty expensive for me. Um, so, you know, it'd be a nice time to start rebuilding my income as well. Sick of prostituting myself. And coming in three seconds, the the Johns are like, "Hey, come on, man!" I'm like, oh, I, "I said if I came, we're done, bro." All right, I, this is I, I'm sorry for my family members that watch this. I'm a bitch, and for everyone who thinks that I am a rat now because I'm pressing charges on people. So what? So what? I don't care. I'd rather be a solid father than a solid uh, convict. I want to be good at being. A a convict. I'm good on that. I'm cool. As much as I love wiener gazing and group showers, I'm cool on that. You ain't taking my car. Hey, get out of my car. Get out of my car. Mm -mm. Don't drive. No, 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 no. All right. Thank you. I love you. Palabra.